Hello and welcome to this week's Vaticano Updates, the most important news from Pope Francis and the Vatican. The highest ranking woman in the General Secretariat of the Synod of Bishops has said that, from an official position, the ordination of women as Catholic priests is not an open question at this time. Sister Natalie Beckhart, who serves as an undersecretary for the Church's ongoing Synod on Synodality, was named in the BBC's 2022 list of 100 inspiring and influential women around the world. In an article published recently, the French religious sister said that there are many ways for women to serve in the church, but ordination is not an option. The Jesuit Superior General, Father Arturo Sosa, has confirmed that the artist, Father Marco Rupnik, incurred an automatic excommunication in 2019 for absolving a woman he had sex with, a fact his religious order was aware of until now, but did not disclose until this moment. Sosa told this new information on Wednesday in a briefing with journalists in Rome. Abusing the sacrament of confession in this manner is one of the most serious crimes in the Catholic Church and comes with the penalty of automatic excommunication. Sosa also contradicted the Jesuits' earlier statement and said that restrictions on Rupnik's ministry, which remain in effect, dated from this earlier conviction and not from the 2021 allegations. Pope Francis is inviting everyone to have a humbler Christmas this year. At the end of his last general audience, the Pope asked people to consider spending less on gifts and parties in order to help the people of Ukraine. It is good to celebrate Christmas, to have parties, but let's lower the level of Christmas spending, he encouraged. Let's send what we save to the Ukrainian people who are in need, suffering so much. They go hungry, they feel the cold, and so many die because there are no doctors or nurses at hand. Let's have a humbler Christmas with more humble gifts, he said. Pope Francis welcomed new ambassadors to the Holy See from Belize, the Bahamas, Thailand, Norway, Mongolia, Niger, Uganda, and Sudan, encouraging them to be artisans of peace. The Pope asked the new ambassadors to shed light in the darkest corners of the world and address issues of dignity and human rights, lasting peace, and care for our common home, highlighting the value of each country's distinctive cultural heritage. Pope Francis has urged young people to look away from their cell phone screens and to make eye contact with the people around them. In a meeting on December 15th with youth groups affiliated with Catholic Action, the Pope cautioned young people against spending too much time on their phones. Our eyes are meant to look to the eyes of others, he said. They were not made to look down at a virtual world that we hold in our hands, but to look up to heaven, to God, and to look into the eyes of those who live next to us. I'm Alan Kupschel for EWTN Vatican.